Alrighty, um, hello and welcome to Tavern Talk. Oh, music's gonna cut out for a second here. Um, I figured since I can't play Baldur's Gate, <laughs> why not play something else that's sort of Dungeons and Dragons inspired, at least. Um, this is a game in which you are a tavern owner in a D&D-ish world. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, so, you know, you serve magical drinks to people, you learn rumors and turn those into quests for, uh, it's gonna cut out again, uh, for people who come to your tavern. Um, since at the moment, the, <sighs> the drive that I was downloading Baldur's Gate onto again, my computer crashed while I was using it, um, and now it's completely destroyed so <laughs> uh, it sucks because i was keeping all of my DD stuff on that including stuff for the game that i'm running so i had to edit a bunch of stuff again to make it similar to what what it was on the drive that crashed i had some older versions of the file so i didn't completely lose everything but uh yeah also it appears that this is a kickstarter game but <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, so I figure, you know, it's the, ooh, it's the, um, if it's like a cozy game sort of next fest thing, um, they've got some demos, they've got some games, which, Paralyze, which I was interested in, uh, Paralyze says it's coming soon, and I don't know how long it's set that, because I sort of, you know, lost track of it for a while there. Um, hello, you are adorable. Can't complain. How about you, Fable? You are very cute. <laughs> yes, yes, nice and dandy. I had such an exciting day. Really, really exciting. <laughs> Even better, I took a walk around the grounds. Then I replanted a mushroom that had fallen over. Then I patiently waited for it to turn into a mushroom monster. Or mushroom mimic? Maybe a gnome? Did it? No. But I got to take another walk around the grove. <laughs> Great. I got to see the same stones, the same trees, the same am amaranthine hydra guarding the entrance to Avalon, same moss. <laughs> Who am I kidding? My life is as exciting as a dried nut. Very thrilling in sauces. <laughs> so what this is telling me is that my character in this game is autistic. Because girl, what <laughs> sir, what are you on about? <laughs> I'm allergic. Of course you are. <laughs> no worries, I mean I never told you. Just wish something would happen in my life. Something riveting. Oh, no, no. I have a very sensitive stomach. I don't think chillers would help much. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> Solid to salad communication. <clears throat> well, yes, yes, exactly. That's it. There's no chili flakes, no garlic, no nymphs, no dragons. Just a lot of salt. A bland soup. Do you know that feeling when nothing exciting is going on in your life? Life isn't bad, but also not particularly funny. Try visiting a circus. But sure. Drama, buzz, excitement, something fiery. Go to the theater, or a gala. Arrive in a hot air balloon. Hot air balloon? Don't they fly really high? I think that's the point. Huh, I'm afraid of heights, and of people. And of actors. <laughs> and of actors. Is there... Is there a reason? But apart from that, I'm trying. I tried singing. But what is singing if not the telling of a tale? How can I sing of things if I never live through anything? Day in, day out of the same green soup of routines. 
Sure have my forest and I look after it, but I want to get out there and see something. For example, saving people wandering through the marshes, meeting up with pretty nymphs. Uh-huh. <laughs> very, very. Of course it is. That's the point. Sure. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is that you're you're horny. Um, I'm guessing you're a bard then. <laughs> Love to sing about the exciting magical things I encounter. To be honest, the most exciting thing in my in my life is coming to your tavern and discovering new drinks. Not a lot of songs you can write about that. I wouldn't mind a jingle. I'll think of one. Can I mention nymphs? <laughs> I'd prefer if you didn't. <laughs> okay. Who are wondering if Alfred and Baron jingle? Right, the usual. That means a sunny breeze, in case you forgot. It's my favorite. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude's got a weird obsession with nymphs. It always makes me feel like a featherlight nymph floating on the waves of a sunny lake. <laughs> yeah, excellent question. Both. But mostly, I want a sunny breeze. Though, I was wondering, I've been coming to your tavern for so long and I still don't know anything about how you make your drinks. Could you show me? Oh, that's, that's cute. I've always hated the tutorials where it's like, oh, I'm a person doing this job and you're just like explaining to me how to do my job. I like this one where I'm showing, I'm showing Fable how to do it. That's really cute. I like that. <laughs> I like that setup for tutorial. What do I do? Do I need to put on an apron or summon a familiar? I don't do want to summon a familiar. Just follow me, buddy. <laughs> Welcome to my drink mixing nook. So this is what it looks like back here. Hello, Andu. Oh, I love, I love Andu. Careful, I haven't fed him yet. Where do we start? Oh, usually I start by figuring out what my patrons want. To make sure I don't forget what they ordered, I take notes in my journal. Let's have a look. Oh, you pinned my order. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did. If I want to look for specifics, I check my detailed notes. I do keep a log just in case. I'm sure memory loss spells are a thing in this world. I'm sure I know what was asked of me. I browse my recipes. Can't just freehand mix something to see what sticks? No, I like to mix and match for a more varied result, but the right balance is crucial, so I stick to my recipes. When I've settled on one, I use chalk to draw a recipe on the board. What if you pick the wrong one? Erase it with a sponge or just pick a different recipe. My ingredients are stored in the uh, five bottles on the right. It's dexterity, intelligence, defense, strength, and charisma. I think dexterity sounds the tastiest. I had a feeling you might say that. If I mess up or want to redo my drink for any reason, I can simply feed my mistakes to Andu. Once I'm done, I press the bell to activate the primordial vortex. Okay. Where's the bell? Ah, oh, there it is. It's literally the gold thing shaped like a bell. Very difficult to miss. Actually, I don't need to bore you with the magic details. Just try making a drink. You've got this. I enjoy this very much. Okay, so journal. <laughs> I'll read these when they come up. Like when they've been ordered. The delicious sunny breeze will fasten your reflexes, while adding a small boost to your grip strength and defenses. Tastes like a pleasant wind flowing through the woods on a warm summer day. Currently on trial version 568. Needs more input from rangers and bards. Oh, like you. Oof, okay. So, so I don't know what that means. Um, does looking at the recipe tell me anything? Ah, okay. So it's just like... Somewhat defense, somewhat that, and then dexterity. So, your dexterity, was it? I believe this is dexterity. Whoops, just fucking pour it all over the table. Um, okay. Then it looks like... Need a little bit for... What do you do? They don't tell me. Um, oh. 
That was the wrong thing. They've got the symbol on them, I think. <laughs> I do like that there's there's pouring mechanics. Okay, so I think I did that wrong. I think they've got the they've got the symbols on them someplace. I'm just really stupid. Uh, they've got the symbols on them, and they light up when you do that. Okay, so let's let's see how this works out. I think this is defense. It's a little difficult to tell, so yeah, I'm gonna need to rely on that. Okay, one of that, and one of this. I think is what it's telling me to do. Is that how it works? Yeah. Okay, that looks fine. Uh, and then... Now that I've done the mix toy... This is not the right drink. It has to be a recipe for my handbook that fits. Oh. <laughs> Have I done this wrong? It looks like it fits. Do I maybe need to... Ah, I think it needs a little bit more of that. There we are. Yes, okay, so you need to flip me all the way up to the top. That is good to know. Well, that's cute. Oh, it actually does teleport. Of course, what'd you think was happening? I thought you were just very good at sleight of hand. That is delicious. I made that? You made that. Thank you for showing me the ropes. Thank you for your enthusiasm adventures you dream of aren't you scared they'd be the end of you sometimes but how would i know if i never tried do you actually want to try well yes i, I want to tell great stories but never mind <laughs> baby hello sir well i know what you'll be having yep a drink <laughs> for you? Right. What kind? Drinkable. Very specific, thank you. I'm on my way to a fight. Need to pay some debts. Give me something that'll boost my defense. I can claim victory. Okay. Good talk, sir. Okay, so... Oh, it just takes me there automatically. Wonderful. So let's see what I've got. Just something that'll boost defense, eh? Last whisp whisper stalks itself into your heart and provides it with speed, strength, and bitter aftertaste that will awaken your senses. Sometimes what you need is the right balance between elegance and brute force. It's just too ancient and slightly smudged, but that adds to the flavor. Okay, so not a last whisper, actually. Maybe a steel tonic? With the steel tonic running through your veins, you can become the buff, charming tank of your dreams. Its cooling qualities make for the surprisingly spicy aroma it boosts your vitality from the heights leave you impenetrable to damage. It's almost perfect. Almost. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. That's, what, health? Fucking hell, if I could stop pouring shit where it shouldn't be. Okay, so that's... Let's see. Three, no. So I need at least the four. That seems to be... Is this right? This is not right. Undo. Undo my mistakes. If I do this... And then this? Nope. Am I doing this right? Peak sunrise. Is that even what I was trying to do? No. <laughs> no, okay. I've got too much of that yellow stuff in there. Well, let's see what I did make. The peak sunrise 05 is a sweet drink that feels like standing on a tall mountain's peak. While focusing on charisma, adventurers may feel infused with the toughness of their favorite mountain range. Unsurprisingly, very popular with climbers and boulders. Okay, so I was trying to go for the steel tonic. So what I need to do is pour out a bunch of that yellow shit, I think. I think I really do just need, like, more. Okay. Whoops. Oh, that didn't go quite right. Isn't this literally what I just had?
I don't know what mistake I made. Okay, Andu, could you could you eat this? It kind of looks like that. Oh, I think I've made a mistake. I think it goes slightly up to to that maybe. Here, let's see if this does anything. Uh, okay. Well, Andu's not drinking my mistakes anymore. That's not ideal. Uh, yeah, I know it's not the right drink. But Andu won't drink it. <laughs> Andu won't drink it, so I don't know what to do. I might have to start over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me start over. <laughs> okay, so... I definitely need some defense. Here, let me just grab that recipe really quick. <laughs> Ooh, don't know what my voice did there. Okay, a little bit of attack. Then down to defense more. Yeah. Okay, and then it seems like I need... A oh, this might actually have one of each. That might be it. No, that's not quite right. Pour the purple out. And fill it with this. Is this it? No. I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, so... Get rid of the gold. And then get rid of that. That looks kind of right. So now do I put this in and then top it off with a defense, maybe? There we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. So it doesn't quite look exactly the same, so it's a little... Should taste like victory. Thanks. Almost washes away the memories of the Banshee Haunter, her lonesome wigan at night, and her bone-shattering song of sorrow. Almost. Enough to kick some ass, at least. All right. Brooding type, I see. <laughs> He's just fucked off. What are you thinking about? Nothing. Just dreams. Yours is someone else's. Mine. Other people seem to have the courage to follow theirs. Why can't I be like that? Wish it was. Brother says my dreams are a fool's errand, that I'm running away from where I belong. He said, you're a ranger's fable. You belong to the woods, like the stream that patters down the mountain. Keep the balance. It's what we're meant to do. No, you're, you're, you're clearly a bard. I'm sorry, fable. You're clearly a bard. I want to experience things outside the safe borders of the forest. I live a life so full of adventure, boredom will feel like bliss. I be brave and strong. And I want to sing songs about my adventures and make other people yearn for the same freedom. Of course, I could never leave the Ashen Grove behind forever. It is my home. There's nothing wrong with going away from time to time, right? I mean, my family looks after the Grove. I think it'd be fine without me. Oh, <laughs> you are so sad. Destiny never meant for a brother. <laughs> Thank you, Innkeeper. You really are the most exciting part of my day. <laughs> Bless her heart, Fable. Hello. My name is Carolyn. You call me Care or Lynn? Couldn't care less. You do the thing with the quests, right? Yes, do you want one? You can have a look at my notice board. Oh, no. I may have one for you. Or your notice board. Heard of a werewolf making trouble from Tergar... Tergarin. Now... <laughs> that's sort of what I thought you were when you walked in, which I suppose is the point of you giving me this quest. Werewolf. It's news to me. Listen, me too. 
and see one in almost a decade and that was far south when we're over. I've been wondering if it's the same one, just moving up to the nomad. Not the werewolf type died together with that one romance novel. <laughs> Ugh, you mean the one with the vampires? Nah, that just split society into two camps. Oh god, oh god, they had a twilight in this world too. Doomed timeline, burn it all down. Which one were you in, Geek? I mean, I, I'm i not particularly interested in either, but I guess vampires because I do like Astarian. That's the thing, is like, I'm actually not really all that interested in like vampires as a trope, especially the hot vampire trope, but just Astarian's cool and I like the way they deconstruct the trope with him, so it's just like... Listen, I like him, but not for that reason. Ah, uh, so you're into the fangs, ain't ya? <laughs> you never tells. You little rascal. I like you. Vampires. Why? <clears throat> the wolves are too close to my kin, and yeah, I'd rather stay away from them. <laughs> Is that the reason you don't want to take care of the werewolf yourself? Yeah. No. Is that bird just shit in the background? Just afraid he might look a little too familiar to my uncle Dra Dra Dragon. Your uncle's name is Dragon. You feel bad slaying that fella? You know, hunchback, hairy, crooked teeth. Is it a werewolf or just Uncle Dragon? You couldn't tell. Want to avoid an awkward family reunion, you know? Alright, anything else that might help others get done with it rather swiftly? Fetch. Should they get into a dangerous situation, they'll just have to start playing fetch. That works? On any dog, trust me. Good to know. Thanks, Carolyn. It's not that hard. Either Carolyn, Care, or Lynn. <laughs> uh, sure. I... Sir, do you mind? You're dripping all over my books. Oh, is that why they're in glass? <laughs> um, that's actually really funny if that's why they're in glass. I almost never do nicknames if somebody has introduced themselves to me as, um, like a... I'm almost 100% sure that bird is shitting in the background. Uh, if they've introduced themselves to me as their first name, but I like the idea of calling this lady Care, so I'm going to. Alright, Chief. You got a name, or is it just in keep? Just in keep for now. Playing hard to get, I see. Well, in keep. Before I venture on, got a drink for me? Of course, what do you want? Take something powerful. Something with a whole lot of strength. Don't you dare give me any of that watered down muck instead. I don't even think I have water in the building. <clears throat> Speed, strength, and awakening your senses. See, what does Sailor's Courage do? Just strength. And a little bit of agility. I mean, the rich pants. Sailor's Courage gives even the last land lover the qualities of a good sailor. A lot of strength, quick reflexes, a shot of defense, and the inability to know fear. Occasionally causes wobbly sea legs, but that is nothing to worry about. Alright. So let's try one portion defense. Come on, come on. Get it in there. One portion defense, one portion uh, dexterity, three portions strength. That's it. Drink the zero water as requested. It is actually kind of funny that the sailor's carriage has zero water in it. Not bad. Just what I was craving. Thanks. Perhaps back north through the Ashen Grove. Got some business to clean up. What kind of business? My cousin claims her crops are being stolen by a dead snails. I'd say she's hallucinating, but I did hear some folks complain about the undead uptake up north, so... Might as well humor her. It's odd, ain't it? Resurrecting the dead? I think there's not much use to digging up the past. Past haunts everyone willing to listen. Would you mind talking like a normal person? 
I would have liked it if when we picked a name for care, like care, Lynn, you know, uh, Carolyn, it chose that name for them <coughs> in the uh, text. No, <laughs> then don't bother. And I'm leaving it. <laughs> Finding more rumors in need aid. Don't shy away from coming back. I'm more of a lone wolf. Don't do groups. But sure, I'll be back to more work. Speaking of rumors, you know how to turn them into proper quests, right? Don't want them to go to waste. Ah, see, I don't like this. This is the thing that annoys me. It, it, why would, why could it use some help? See your setup. <laughs> Swear I stored all the rumors I've collected. I have to keep them written down in my journal. Smart. I think the best next step would be sorting fitting snippets onto your quest page. Going over, make sure they're all for the same quest, otherwise you end up confusing adventurers. Once you're done, select that quill yours and it'll be written up. Got it. Put it on my tab. Good night to you too. <laughs> Time to assemble a quest. Okay. <laughs> An unusual amount of undead seem to be haunting the north. Undead snails are being accused of stealing crops. This apparently poses a problem. I actually wonder, are Banshees undead here, and is the Lonesome Lagoon up north? Let's leave this for the werewolf stuff. Banshee is haunting the Lonesome Lagoon, wailing a song that will shatter your bones. Hopefully a rhetorical device. Okay. So, the Vukakin, Carolyn, Told me about a werewolf who's roaming around Trigaran, potential threat to villagers. Seems like, do I require three pieces of information to turn it into a quest? Or do I need... Can I do it with just one or two? The werewolf previously has been seen in Arova, a southern town. A nomad, or do they have a goal in mind? <laughs> Werewolf's secret weakness is playing fetch. Apparently no dog can resist the urge to run after a stick. Okay, I'm gonna select the quill. We're going to see if we can pass by the Warefarer's Inn, reporting a wolf making their web to Trigarin from Arova. They pose a potential village, a potential threat to helpless villagers. Apparently werewolves love playing fetch. Great enough to take on the quest, and then my name is just in keep. Werewolf on detours. <laughs> I love the art. <laughs> um. Hello. You had a lot to drink today, sir. I don't like that noise. It's unpleasant. Let's see, how long have I been? Oh, wow. Hmm. This probably auto saved. I wonder. Yeah, it's kind of late. People are probably going to start going to bed soon enough. I think what I'll do is I'll put this out as another episode, um, at some point. <laughs> um, maybe I'll record it tomorrow and put them out together on the same day. I don't know. We'll see what I do. Um, if I do record two episodes, it'll either be two episodes of this or this and an episode of Ghost Trick. But we'll see. Um, speaking of, I do put those episodes out on, uh, Mondays and Thursdays, so... You know, check back here to see what I did. Um, yeah, I'll see you then. <laughs>